Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Super excited for today's video. It's all about Lisa Eldridge and her brand new Velveteen Liquid Lip Colors, okay? I grabbed three of them. I'm gonna be swatching for you guys. I'm gonna swatch them against velvet lipsticks and some glosses. And I'm going to be trying each one on, of course, but I'm gonna be trying each one on two different ways, okay? So we've got some stuff to get into. And I'm going to be talking about my experience with her skincare, finally. So if you wanna see what's going on in this face and what this lip color is and what this super cute thing is on my wrist, just keep watching and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I appreciate it when you do. Now let's jump in. Before I jump in, of course I have to talk about my Breezy Tea products of the day. I am rocking our Silk Tool Skinny Scarf. This is our splatter print. This side is magentas and mauve. The other side is a completely different color story. We have chartreuse and navy. Chartreuse runs through this side as well. And it's a different splatter print. These are our own designs. We had fun designing these Silk Tool Skinny Scarves. You've seen them on my head. Typically I'm wearing them on my head, but you can just as easily wear them as a wrist accessory or on your bag. I've seen them in sandals, sandal straps. I've seen them braided in hair. Get creative with your skinny scarf. They come in lots of prints and they come in lots of colors. So if you want to check out any of our Silk Twill skinny scarves, you can visit us at breezytea.com or our Etsy shop. Links will be in the description and somewhere here above my head. Okay, so today's video is all about the brand new Lisa Eldridge Velveteen Liquid Lip Colors. I remember the name, the Velveteen Liquid Lip Colors. And I grabbed three of them, okay? I have a fair, I have blush, and I have jazz. I did just wanna point out the packaging, the signature Lisa Eldridge makeup packaging. We have the gold up here. We have the frosted finish here. Name on here, translucent, so you can see the color in between. It doesn't feel substantial, it's not glass. This is a plastic, but they've done a really good job of mimicking the glass. It still looks chic, it still looks elegant. One little, th I don't love the writing here, the, of the, the name of the, uh, the product. I don't know how else that could have gone, but it's not my favorite thing in the world. But, okay, just one little thing that caught my eye. Packaging is still really, really chic. So in my box, I got, which is nice. So I guess they're all coming with when you buy from the brand. Now, Lisa is now, I think since our last uh, video with Lisa, Lisa is now uh, available in Selfridges, which is super exciting for her. And um, yeah, so she's now in Selfridges and Selfridges will deliver the products if you don't wanna go through her website. And so through her website, I got a sample of her Seamless Skin uh, Cleanser. And that is something else we're gonna talk about in just a little bit. I've been sitting with her skincare for a, a, a bit of time now since it launched, pretty much. And um, so now I can give you my feedback. I don't like doing skincare things right away because it takes time. You need to sit with it, see what you think. So we'll get into that in a little bit. So there are eight uh, lip colors in this release. I just got three, talked about it before. There's no scenario other than Someone gift, gifts them to me that I will ever buy the full of any collection. It just doesn't interest me. I think three is a good number. I have these two of these colors in the velvet formula and I have them in the gloss. So I'm going to be trying, we'll be swatching them, the colors together, two of them. I don't have jazz in any form. So jazz is gonna be exciting um, to try on, but we'll try them on, swatch them so we can see the velvet against the liquid against the, the uh, gloss. And I'll probably put the gloss on for the two that I have the, the glosses for as well as the last look, okay? But I wanna try out the different techniques that Lisa tried out. So I'm going to start with, well, I guess let's start, let's go from, I guess, light to dark. I'm going to start with a fair. So here is a fair in the bullet or the case. Here it is, a beautiful color. It's a brownie, brownie rose. The, the, it was between Muse and Affair as the third one because I love them both so much and then I had to get a grip and say they're not going anywhere. So if you want Muse later, you can get it. But we're gonna start with Affair and I'm pretty sure what she did. I wanna do that, she said the Korean lip. I think that's what she called it, a Korean lip. And I wanna see how I can get it to, if I can get it to, blend out. So I'm just gonna put it in the center of my lips. And then she took uh, an eye brush and just sort of blended it outwards. And it made the coolest ombre effect. So let's see. Let's see if I can make this happen.
I did it, Joan. I did it. I like it. I, 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 I need to practice it a little bit more, but I love the idea that the, the most of the color is in the center and then you blend it out just a little bit around the edge. So very, very pretty. And so this is a fair, just put in the center and then just blend it out. So not at its full, full strength. And look how it's drying down on my hands at its full strength, okay? It's getting darker. That is what intrigued me about these two and I knew what the, the thing that would be different um, from the velvet. I loved what it was doing when it got darker. That's what drew me to the red, not a red person, but my goodness, watching that red dry, I was like, that is so beautiful, I wanna try it out. Okay, so I'm going to do a fair at full strength in a minute, but because I didn't get Muse, I didn't wanna lose leave Muse out, okay? I have nothing on my cheeks, so I'm going to use Muse as a cheek color, okay? Let me rub it on my hand first. And if you're you know, unsure of which color velveteen liquid lip color you wanna get, here is Muse swatched on me, okay? I'm gonna use this as a blush because I think Lisa's um, velvet lipsticks work beautifully as blushes, okay? So we'll just get that on. And here is the perfect time for me to remind you that everything that I'm wearing on my face will always, always be in the description below, okay? Things that are featured and things that are not. Uh, so there will be some affiliate links sometimes, okay? and I get a small amount of money with affiliate links, each affiliate link. If somebody goes on to buy something from one of my affiliate links. So if you're gonna buy it anyway, and you wanna support me, support my channel, I would be very, very happy if you use one of my links. So I'm gonna thank you in advance should you choose to. So I'm gonna put a little bit more. I didn't wanna, she said these, these liquid lipsticks set um, it, they don't set straight away. You have a little bit of time to play with them, but I really didn't want to play with uh, this on my lips. Not at all. I mean, on my lips. I didn't want to play with the liquid ones on my cheeks. No, 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 no. Just because of how they will uh, set. And she said she wasn't even going to do. People were asking her and she's not a fan of, of liquid. Uh, she wasn't a fan of making liquid lipsticks in the same shades and she came around. She wanted it to do certain things and there. We'll get into what's in these in a second, but she got some really good ingredients in there. She, she took some things from her skincare. She took some things from another product. So she made sure to get some good stuff going on. Okay. Now my cheeks have some color and then I'm gonna get on the highlighter. Now I went on and put some Elevated Glow, Lisa's Elevated Glow. On my cheeks, I have Lisa on my eyes. Of course, I have one of my favorite foundations, the Lisa foundation. So now let's get this a fair shade on my lips, full strength, let's go. So pretty. My lips look bigger now too, funny. Oh, I, I, I love Affair anyway, but this is a beaut and it is darker. Let's get to these swatches really quickly and then I'm gonna try it with the um, gloss on top. Okay, so here's the Affair family. So this is the Velveteen, this is the Velvet lipstick, and then this is the uh, Embrace lip gloss, okay? Really, really beautiful shades. You can see the difference. You can see when it dries that this is darker than the, uh, will get a little bit darker than the um, velvet lipstick. So it's not same, same, samey. Okay, because that was my worry. I was like, when she tried it on, I saw that it wouldn't be. But I was like, to get the same colors, same sort of, you know, matte finish. But to me, this is dark. Where, where are we now? Not too damn bad, I tell you that. Hasn't even been that long. There's a little bit coming off, just a little bit. And um, yeah, that was one of her things about it not being drying. So it feels nice on the lips. Doesn't feel tight. You know, some of them get tight. 
doesn't feel tight. Interestingly enough, the doe foot was tickling my strange sensation, was making my, uh, was tickling my, my lip when I was putting it on the first way in the center of the lip, which was very strange. I'm like, that's never happened to me before. But yeah, love this color. I think it's beautiful. And let's get the gloss on for the full affair a look and then we're done with the shade. Okay, and here it is with the gloss. Lightens it up. What do you think? What do you think with the gloss on top? Tell me which way in the comments below you prefer this affair on me. So quickly before we get into blush, I just wanted to see what active ingredients were in here in case you were interested in why uh, these will make the lips. You'll, you'll, you'll get some nourishing things in there. Okay, it's passion fruit seed oil, regenerates and repairs, helps skin retain hydration. Lisa talked about her dry lips. Lips are one of my issues too. They get very, very dry. So anytime I can retain moisture, that is an excellent thing. It's naturally high in antioxidants protect skin from free radicals. The passion fruit seed oil, I believe is also in her cleanser. So she borrowed that ingredient from her cleanser. Pomegranate extract is an anti-inflammatory and rich in antioxidants. Marine algae derived from the Andaria species of seaweed. This unique uh, natural ingredient has shown to inhibit many of the key enzymes responsible for skin damage. Um, delivers a powerful combination of protective soothing and anti-aging properties in one natural ingredient. Uh, vitamin E, moisturizing antioxidant, and capillic or capric triglycerides is emollient that helps soften and smooth the skin. So those are the active ingredients. You can read the full ingredients list on Lisa's uh, website. And yes, I also thought she said to use an oil-based um, uh, cleanser or something to get the lipstick off uh, your lips. I was able to get it off with my wipe. I have like the 99% water wipes. And um, so that came off, it came off seamlessly. So just a little heads up, let's get to blush now. So here is blush newly swatched. So it's described as a deep pink berry with muted cool undertones. I love me some blush. It's just the, it's such a rich shade. I love the velvet lipstick. So I'm excited to try this on. I think I'm gonna pat this one on just as almost like a stain, and then we'll go full tilt with this one too. Um, I'll do the, the Korean uh, lip again with the last one, okay? But for this one, let's try it as like a stain, and then we'll amp it up. <laughs> blush as a stain very very pretty still a nice amount of color but not so overwhelming so if you just want a little you know light berry look on your lips this is very very pretty very very pretty very very pretty i love blush though so completely biased love 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 okay very very nice let's try it now at its uh fullest <laughs> Here it is, so it's darkened now. We have the velvet blush color, and then we have the blush, uh, again, the gloss. Oh, it's just so good. I'm going to talk about the skincare now with this on my lips. I wanna see if we can get a little darker on camera, and then I'll come back and put the gloss on. I don't wanna put the gloss on quite yet. So let me let me give you my thoughts on the Lisa Eldridge skincare. Okay, so let's start with the Lisa Eldridge Skin and Makeup Enhancing Mist, okay? Perfect time, I'm gonna use it now for the makeup. Give a little... Okay, 
sets the makeup so beautifully. I also used it today as like my toner before I put my serum on. So I used it a couple of different ways and I refresher in this heat, you just need a refresher, you know, for your makeup. This is a beautiful, beautiful product. This is a 100 mils, I believe, 125 mils. Okay, 125 mils, and it is a multifunctional ultra fine makeup mist infused with skin. Perfect atomizer, it is. It's a lovely mist. Um, skin infused, uh, loving ingredients. Okay, be part of your skincare routine, settle your makeup, and hydrate makeup and skin throughout the day. Look what it's done just now. It has that. What does it have? It has that Flexamil that her other. Um, her other products have, the, the highlighter has, I think the foundation has, and what that does, it's like, a, it creates almost like a mesh that adheres to your skin. It does this really cool thing, and so it adheres to things, so it just seamlessly pulls your stuff together, okay? So good, love it, cannot say enough about it. Again, and it is a multi-purpose product, which we love. Um, I think for uh, Lisa being a luxury brand, I think these products are pretty affordable. This will last a, a, a good minute, and so, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. I've had it for a couple of months. I've been using it for a couple of months now and really, really love this mist. Um, and this is one I will stick with because I think it does so well and just, it just tightens your makeup up. I don't know how to describe it exactly, but it just refreshes. Uh, it tightens it up when you first uh, apply it. It just gives it a nice put together finish that I really, really love. And while other things, that I have will give a nice little sheen and stuff. I don't know that it's sort of tightening the makeup up. I don't know that it's doing what this is. And so this is one I'm gonna stick with. Now I done made up a whole name. It's not Flexamil, it's Filmexil. That's her proprietary uh, formula that I was describing, but just gave it a different name, okay? So it does have it in here. Let's get to this cleanser. I'm not gonna show you the cloths because they are used like nobody's business. And so one's wet, one's in the the uh, the, the hamper. So, uh, but I use them, the, the cloths they come with are so luxe and beautiful. So you're not gonna see those, but they this also came with the, I got the bundle, the Seamless Skin uh, Skin Enhancing Treatment Cleanser. This cleanser is so good, guys. It is just so, so good. Um, it joined my family of cleansers seamlessly. I'm using about four cleansers currently. I, I switch on and off between the two in the evening and the two in the morning. Not a single one gets sudsy. I'm over my whole, it needs to be sudsy, it needs to be, I'm over that, not a single one. This is a cleansing balm, okay? And it can be used as three things, to cleanse, as a mask, and as a facial massage treatment. I massage this on my skin, all my products, uh, my my uh, cleansers for 60 seconds. I at least give it a good minute and I massage it into the skin. It is so beautiful. It's, it's going down. It's a really beautiful, beautiful product. It leaves, I'm, it's not stripped, which is why I moved away from my other products. Everything that I'm using now, it makes my skin, uh, it cleans my skin, but it leaves it healthy. It's not stripped of any moisture, still really moisturized plump, healthy looking when I finish um, using this. And it is a little bit goes a long way, massage it in. It's great to take makeup off. It's not what I use it for. I have makeup cleansers, so I use this and I will use it today too. It's my second, I always use it. So I will use it this after my, my uh, makeup remover. I will go over it for anything left over, but I have tried it once to take makeup off and it does a beautiful, beautiful job. This is what Lisa used in her video to get the, the uh, liquid lip, lip color off. I can't say enough about it. It's really, it's a, it's a great cleanser and talk about going to continue with it. I just checked and she still has the deal where you can save 50% when you get the bundle of this and the cloths. Trust me, because I love the cloth so much and I love this, I'll be getting my discount when I re-up on this eh, pretty soon. So just quickly, it has the passion fruit seed oil as well. We've got the glycerin um, for hydration, oat kernel oil boosting ceramides. ceramides. It's a moisturizing oil. We've got saponins um, to gently cleanse the face. Again, you can find the ingredients, all the, the active ingredients and all the ingredients in total on her website, but I really cannot, um, I really, really cannot recommend it enough if you wanna try a new cleanser out I'm loving it, my skin is loving it, and I'm definitely, definitely, definitely going to continue with this cleanser. 
Okay, guys, time for the gloss. Oh, so good. See how dark it got? It continued, just got a little bit darker. Obsessed. Obsessed with this color. Let's get this blush. Let me make sure it's the blush gloss. Imagine. Imagine after all that, I put the wrong color on. This is the blush gloss. And let's go. It's pretty, but I'm so in love with it on its own that I wouldn't wear it with the blush. But it looks very pretty, and I wanted to show you your options. Now let's move on to the last lipstick, Jazz. So here is Jazz, okay? So remember, Affair, Blush, and Jazz. And here's the perfect time to remind you that swatches will always be on my Instagram page a few days after a video goes live here on Instagram. I will do the swatches in sunlight. There'll be video and photo swatches. You will see them all together, okay? Try to get them all dry, these, and then we'll see a more even one because these aren't as even today. I'll try to even it out when I do the swatches and get some good swatches for you guys. So follow me on Instagram. That is the moral of this particular story. Follow me on Instagram. Come by, see what I have going on. We're always sharing uh, uh, upcoming you know, releases, see what's going on in the world of beauty. Okay, so that's what's going on on my page. So make sure you follow me. Okay, so Jazz, I said earlier on that I do not have Jazz in any form, okay? I did not, it did not read this dark, as dark as it did on Lisa. Otherwise, it would have drawn me in a while ago. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I wanna go back in with that Korean uh, uh, lip effect. Okay, so I'm gonna try that out, put the color in the middle, and then just blend it out with a brush. She said use a, a fluffy brush. So like mine, the one I'm using is the Sonia G Worker Pro. Fluffy, but you know, firm, you know what I mean? Like this, I have some control of it, but it's fluffy. So I'm using that brush. And so I'm gonna do that first. twice I realized I was putting too much lipstick in the middle of my lips so it's a much better attempt this time to get that ombre effect I can probably do eat probably do even less I gotta get used to it I gotta get used to the amount and how much I should be blending out but I love the idea of it and I can see it taking form here I just have to work work with it a little bit so here is jazz just on that ombre blended out look and we're going to get to it at full strength now another thing i wanted to mention that this is the first one i needed the um my cleansing balm uh to get off but it also needs to be noted that i didn't have a lip gloss on top of it which i think added to the ease in which the other two came off so just something to mention let's get to this at full strength <music> Oh, it's so good. So, so good. This is a red I can get down with. Oh, I just love it. Just, it's moody. Like, it's like, hmm. Makes you look twice. If I saw a woman in this lip color, I would be like, oh, oh, she's rocking it. She's rocking it. I love this. I love this shade, okay? Uh, I don't know what else to add. I just think this is a beautiful um, collection, okay? These uh, velveteen uh, liquid lip colors. If you're into lip liquid lipsticks. These are really, really beautiful. Um, if you're not, you know, you want to try something new. I think it's doing a really good job covering the lips. The lips, it's, the opacity is really, really nice. It's just really, really, it's just, they're beautiful. And they don't, again, there's no like tightness as I'm wearing them. They feel very, very comfortable on the lips. These need this color, I just put it on. It's gonna need a, a couple more minutes to settle a bit more, but it's going, it's drying, it's drying down. And yeah, I can't say enough. And I, for myself, I'm gonna be working on that technique because I wanna nail it. I like that ombre effect and I'm going to nail it. 
So yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful collection. And I'm super excited to see what she does in the future with the skincare. I think she, she, she has that, she's off to a hell of a start. One thing's for sure, if Lisa Eldridge is coming out with it, I'm going to be trying it. I am there with the brand. I, I just love them to death. Her, she's awesome. Her team, they're awesome. So I'm so team Lisa Eldridge. So I'm excited to see uh, what's next. And now it's over to you. You have to let me know. Did you grab any of these new liquid lipsticks? Do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite effect that I tried on? Which one did you like the most? Which effect did you like the most? Most, tell me all that stuff in the comments below. And of course, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I appreciate it when you do. And if you wanna check out any of our Silk Tool skinny scarves, any of our t-shirt hair towel wraps, satin line beanies, satin line knit beanies, boho head wraps, and all our other hair accessories, you can visit us at breezyt.com. For all our luxury lifestyle accessories, you can visit us at fraybybreezyt.com. I will check you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Ciao.